Welcome to this video in which we are being asked to solve the following problem. We have a radioactive element which decays as a function of time and the rate at which it decays is proportional to the amount we have. Now, it is being said here that this process is being described by the differential equation that we have here. So y prime of t is k times y of t y of t is the amount of the radioactive element we have at time t and this tells you how this will behave as a function of time k is a constant that indicates how fast um, y of t will disappear and we have y0 equals 88 gram of tritium which is apparently the material that we are considering here so what we have to do here is solve the differential equation. So let's do that on the next page. The differential equation we have is y prime of t equals k times y. And y is a constant. So I'm going to write that a little bit differently. I'm going to say dy dt equals k times y and as you can see i can now use the separation of variables technique so i'm rewriting this as 1 over y dy equals k dt and the reason i do that is now that the left hand side of the equation depends on y only and the right hand side of the equation depends on time t only. So I can integrate on both sides of the equation and I find that the integral of 1 over y dy equals the integral over k dt. Now, in the left hand side, we can find an antiderivative, that's ln, the absolute value of y. And on the right hand side, remember that k is just a constant. So if I integrate with respect to t, then I find k times t plus an arbitrary integration constant. Now, since we are considering uh, an amount, a mass of a certain quantity, I know that y is larger than zero. And I can take the exponential and I find that y of t is the exponential kt plus the integration constant. And I can split that. I can say that equals e to the power k times t times e to the power capital C. And e to the power capital C, that's just a new constant. So let's go to the next slide. So what I have now found is that y of t is e to the power c e to the power k times t and e to the power c is a new constant a so this equals a constant times e to the power k t and then finally, what we need to do is we have to use the initial condition. So it was given that y0, the initial amount of material that we have, equals 88. So what we have now is that apparently a times e to the power of k times 0 equals 88. e to the power 0 equals 1, so we have that a equals 88. And the final solution to this question is yt equals 88 times e to the power kt. And that is the answer to this question. And if we scroll back to the original question, we see that apparently answer A is the correct answer here. That concludes it for this video. I hope all was clear and I'll see you in the next one.